Hey guys, the ASL 18 map pool was just released. This is going to be the maps for KCM, ASL, Ultimate Battle. The biggest thing to talk about is that all the maps are completely new. We don't have any old maps from last season or from previous seasons. They're all brand new. We're going to be hopping into game to check them out right now. Okay, so the first map we're going to be checking out is called Backstreet. We've got a normal looking natural here. But that's basically where the normality ends. It's a two-player map. We've got the small little entrance here with the two eggs to just make it that much smaller. And then we've got some eggs here at the back as well. Over here is a new base. And this is a item that I've never seen before or a doodad that I've never seen before. It's like, I don't even know what this is. A missile turret, but it's kind of screwed up. The, the guy in there is uh, he's a little bit cramped right now. We're going to get him out of there. But as you can see, you can walk over the lurker eggs and immediately come over here in order to take this base. And it is blocked off with two more eggs on a tiny ramp over here on the right-hand side, which leads to another base over here. So this is already a very wild addition. We've got sort of a free base here at the back with just some eggs and a tiny tiny ramp you rarely ever see this ramp used in modern game uh in the modern brood war era but we're gonna use that here for whatever reason plus you know mineral fields it's been a while since i've seen oh just just no gas here by the way it's been a real long time since i've seen this sort of double egg setup uh i can't remember the name of the map that was uh using that more recently but it's been at least like four or five seasons now on the other side of your main base you've got quite an interesting little wall here this is a wall that actually can't be opened or can't be jumped across either unless we can actually build a pylon here and no we cannot we can't actually build anything to actually hop over top of this wall i'm not sure if there's some way okay actually you can just go right through the mineral or you can just go right through by clicking on the mineral field so another pocket base location that can be taken here so this is already getting pretty wild i was not expecting you to just be able to walk right through that i forgot that that was a feature of these these gates here and again the the strange missile turret kind of crushed missile turret here but this one has a gas so you've actually got kind of a free gas base here so that's not where the the weirdness is end here in the middle of the map we've got uh protoss assimilators these are neutral assimilators. You can't actually build on those once the assimilators die, but if you kill the assimilators, then it creates a smaller gap to, to move through. So if you kill just this assimilator in the middle, only small units will be able to slip through there. So dragoons, vultures, uh, anything medium size or large is not gonna be able to fit through there. Only things that can go through are like marines, lings, that kind of thing, uh, hydras as well. So if you kill all three of them, or you kill these two, for instance, you can't get even small units through there. And if you kill these two, then you can't get small units through here either. So it makes it kind of like a, a full-on wall here in the middle of the map. And the only way to go around the map is to take these long, large peninsula areas. These high ground areas here at the top and bottom. Which is where I think most of the fighting will go on on this map. You do have good counterattack paths, but there's only two of them. It'll be very easy to split this map in half. This map is going to split in half very, very quickly. No buildable terrain out here in the middle of the map either. It'll be pretty tough for, for like, Terran to push through here. You can pull, throw down a few turrets, I guess. Like, there's, there's room for a turret. There's room for a turret. A room for a turret here. But I can imagine this area will be scary. If the Terran is kind of sitting and camping here in their natural, maybe taking a, a base here or a base here, it's going to be tough to push out of this natural because just look at how wide of an angle you can set up a Protoss army here. Um, Zerg could also set up a big concave here as well. Um, just contain this area because down here, you can't actually get your army through this gate. This gate is going to stop any movement coming through. So you're only going to have one exit to your base, really. This is not can't really be considered an exit. It's too hard to get dragoons and stuff up that ramp. So this is going to be your main exit to your, your natural and your base. So 
Um, setting up contains on this map, I think is going to be fairly strong. But yeah, that's it for Backstreet, guys. Kind of a crazy two-player map. That's all I can think of for now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and let's, let's go ahead and jump into the next map. All right, next up is going to be Catalyst, and this is an insane map. We've got a really weird feature. You guys are not going to believe. A siege tank, a neutral siege tank right on your first ramp, and it is a very small ramp leading out of your natural. I don't know what exactly uh, this is going to be used for or why the map makers decided to put this in, but it seems like they're working with some sort of new interesting idea. Now, of course, you can move your probe directly through by just clicking on the gas geyser. It's going to slide right through. You can take your natural. What I'm thinking, and bear with me, guys, Zealot Rush on this map, as you can see, pretty easy to just drop a couple of gateways here at the front outside of the siege tank. But it's going to be harder. Like, you can't go directly up into the main immediate, will, immediately with that Zealot. And let's say that you're... Uh, Terran here you build your first couple of Marines and you stand on the other side That means the zealots not going to be able to quickly get into the into your base to start harassing you So you can use this as kind of an early wall Where zealot harass is not going to be very powerful So we're probably going to see a lot less zealot harass plays here against Terran Although it might still be strong against Zerg because like I said the links that are going to be coming out to defend the natural are just going to be slowed down a little bit by the siege tank. Guys, as I was editing, I realized that this is probably going to be the biggest thing that is changed with the addition of the siege tank here. As you can see, you cannot get up the ramp. You have no vision of any minerals past the tank here, so the tank is going to prevent either player from scouting each other early on. Uh, this is something I missed when I was just first analyzing it. It was my first look at the map um, for all the maps. So my first reaction, I didn't think about it because I had Black Sheep Wall turned on. I could see everything. But look at how long it takes to kill the tank just to get inside the main base to see what's going on. It's kind of crazy. I think this is actually a nerf for Protoss. It's a, a bit of like a long way of doing it or kind of a, a crazy way of doing it. But... It's going to take a long time to get the probe inside, and if you get a, a SCV out there to maybe harass the probe, kind of slow it down from killing the tank, then you're going to be able to utilize that uh, to help with the defense against the Zealot a little bit later on. So that's kind of what I missed. I just wanted to throw that in there. Back to the video. So that's that's the big scary. That's the big change here for this map. That's the, the thing that we're going to have to watch carefully and, and see what the pros actually figure out how to how to work with that but there's still some other things to consider oh wait a second did a ling just walk right past that i'm gonna have to check that out all right i've respawned here is zerg we're gonna check it out see if we can actually walk by this because i thought i saw the computer player run by the tank i really thought that this would be tight but look at that we can go right by with the lings here so map creators are messing with something here i'm not sure exactly what they're trying to nerf or buff some sort of early aggression that they think is going to be too strong on this map. Maybe something to do with Zealots. Uh, I'm not really sure at this point. I'm sure that Marines, if Lynx can walk past the uh, tank, then Marines definitely can as well. I think this is the only thing this is really going to affect is Zealot early harassment against Terran. This is going to make it a lot harder. The small ramp here, though, is going to make it really, really tough for Terran to actually get up and down this ramp. Um, mostly when you have ramps like this, it makes it very, very painful to get recalled or to have drops in your main. So those type of plays as Protoss are going to be really, really strong here. Now, another thing to mention is that we've got a mineral field back here. It's got zero minerals, so you can just mine it out very quickly with a single worker. I'm not sure how many stacks there are here. But we'll go ahead and mine that out to find out. Um, that goes to a base here, which will likely be your third. Pretty much no matter what race you're going for, that's probably going to be your third base. Uh, down here in the bottom corner, we've actually got a high ground. So no easy way to get down here. And in fact, this looks to me like uh, sort of like a heartbreak ridge type of situation. Where 
for the most part, we're going to see the player on the right-hand side take the majority of the bases over at the top. We've got another high ground here. This is an interesting high ground right there. I didn't see that before, but a high ground position. This is going to be great for tanks. You can cover this entire area, and you can kind of cover part of this area as well, and anything coming up this direction or this direction is just going to get bombarded. So that's a very interesting position. All the bases have gas, but like I said, we're probably going to see the player on the right-hand side take all of these bases, and the player on the left-hand side take these bases down here. Not much to mention here in the middle of the map, just several counter-attack paths and no high ground areas aside from these uh, sort of weirdly shaped high grounds that this one has a ramp, this one doesn't, and of course the ones like near your main base also don't have ramps. I'm not sure what you're going to use those for. Maybe you could siege tanks, you could come up here and drop siege tanks and try to take this base. I'm not sure. That's... um. That's going to be interesting to find out if we can... Can we actually build anything up there? That would be good to check. Yeah, unbuildable terrain up here. Um, at least I think. So yeah, you're not going to be able to build turrets up here to keep a, t a bunch of tanks safe. But maybe you can drop some goliaths. and Or maybe even have turrets down here. Have a bunch of turrets along here to try and keep the tanks safe. I'm not sure what Terrans are going to do with that. But I think... I suspect that most players are going to take these bases. And this entrance here to the natural is very, very wide. As you saw earlier, two gateways didn't quite fill it. So uh, it's going to be a little tough for Protoss to set up a wall here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you're going to be able to set up, for example, a forge fast expand with this wide of a gap. You might have to go this way as a Protoss player. You might have to use the Nexus as part of the wall. But well, we'll see what players come up with. Anyway, guys, that's it for Catalyst. Let's jump into the next one. Okay, next up is Minstrel. And this seems to me to be one of the more normal maps in our new season. Um, it's definitely something new. But everything here seems relatively normal to me. We've got a pretty average-sized ramp. This is like your Fighting Spirit ramp or your uh, Polypoid ramp. Uh, at the natural, let's see how big this is. Uh, it's a little bit of a wide entrance here, but you can see that setting up the natural wall in is not too bad. You could definitely work with this as a Protoss player. There's just a small gap here above, but altogether not the worst. This is a um, vertical entrance, but I believe this is a four-player map. No, it's not. It's a two-player map. It is a two-player map. Okay, so always going to be vertical entrances. That's interesting to note. Natural looks pretty normal. Very large main base. Lots of space for factories or gateways in here. A lot of space. But also a lot of area to drop and also to cover with turrets. So that's something to consider. Third base is right here. It's kind of an open third base. If you want to take the base down here at the bottom left or you know on the way to the bottom left... This is a very long distance, so I think it'll be unlikely that we see Terran players try to push this direction to take their third. I think most of them will be taking this as their third, and that really... That's tough. Because there's open ground here behind the mineral patches, which is pretty difficult to defend. Also, some of these patches are very low, so the, they will mine out very, very quickly. And uh, we do have quite a bit of... Uh, buildable terrain here. We'll likely see Terran players kind of mine up these two areas and spread out tanks until they can reach this spot. Though it does seem pretty tough to take this base right off the bat. This one over here, quite wide open. All, really, all of these bases are very wide open. A very interesting center as well. 2,000 gas, 1,000 minerals on these patches. Got our 3,000 gas, 5,000 gas, 5,000. So these are normal gases. This one's a bit low. And really, this base overall, pretty low on minerals and gas. This one, pretty low as well. Well, 1,500 there. But 500 on all these three patches. A lot of the map gets opened up actually by mining. So although there are these big counterattack paths... 
three of them, in fact. You can open up even more pathways by mining out some of these bases, and this is going to be an interesting map. I mean, there's going to be a lot of counterattacks going on, a lot of difficulty controlling all the lanes here as Terran, I think. Um, also, as Zerg, if you're uh, dealing with a lot of these different counterattack paths, it can be really hard to deal with a Protoss army that's moving around rapidly. Uh, however, pretty small chokes coming this way and this way. This is the only really large choke that you have to worry about. Wrapping all the way down and around. Coming through the middle is very quick between the two bases, but this bridge is pretty small. And then wrapping around from this bridge, like let's say you, you attack here and then you decide you want to wrap around and go to a different area. This is too blocked up. You actually have to walk all the way down here, all the way, in fact, all the way around this, up onto this high ground, down here, before you can counterattack into a different location, unless these are mined out. Um, same thing goes this way. You have to go up and all the way around. And this is still a pretty clogged up area. Not a lot of um, movement through this area. So counterattacks, although they're going to be powerful here, I think they take a long time to move around. Like there's a long distance you have to move to choose another pathway. It's going to be an interesting map. I think this is, yeah, like I said, one of our more normal maps. But I don't really see where you can take a third base here as Zerg versus Terran. Everything is super wide open. Like, how do you take... You can't really take this base. You can't really take this base either. Where do you take a third here as Zerg in ZVT? This is a good question. I'm really not sure here. We'll have to see how the Zerg Pro players actually handle this because it looks really tough to me. All right, Deja Vu is going to be next. Let's check it out. All right, taking a look at Deja Vu, and it does look very familiar. We've got the eggs here on the ramp and normal, pretty average natural opening, but this mineral patch here in the middle is ringing some bells right now i'm not quite remembering where i know that from but take a look here guys we've got the natural pretty simple for the protoss player to wall in here pretty standard map i would say although the third base is very far away and with very small entrances on the third here so whether you're zerg or protoss or Terran taking these bases, you're going to have a pretty easy job defending this. Um, but it's not like it's high ground with a very small ramp or anything like that. There's still multiple ramps. And also, this is a very long distance for a Protoss or for a Terran player to push against Protoss. Um, the nice thing here, however, is that the ramp going up into the middle, uh, again, a high ground middle of the map. So Protoss is going to be able to sit up here. Wait for the turn to push out and then come down the ramp into them, which is always good for the Protoss player. But there is a ton of buildable terrain right here, as you guys can see. There's almost no area down here that's unbuildable. So adding on turrets out here in the front. What is my probe doing? Putting turrets down here and slow pushing up to this third base is probably going to be the right call. Uh, getting across this bridge here might be a little tough. But you guys can see that if you set up tanks here and maybe even here, you can really cut off the, the counterattack path, right? If the Protoss tries to come through here, you can set up tanks here and cut off uh, anything moving through this area. Which makes this defending this a lot easier. Um, the only downside is, of course, there's not really anywhere to build turrets here. So dropping Zealots on top of this with shuttles would be pretty easy. A lot of buildable terrain here. Seems like quite a bit of buildable terrain um, around the mineral patches down here as well. As for a third for Zerg players, I don't know if this is going to be very holdable. The only thing I can see is probably a main base is going to be necessary to take here as a Zerg third. Uh, main or natural. Take this natural here. And hold with sunken colonies and lurkers. Or 
potentially you could take the main base and hold on the ramp but i i think that players are really going towards this direction a lot more lately taking the natural instead taking the third base here on this map it just doesn't feel very strong it's going to be really hard to just hold with lurkers when there's multiple different directions that the marines can come in from although they are quite tight it's just a little bit easier i think to take a main base or or a natural here uh, as the zerg and just hold that off hold, hold that while the terran player tries to you know bust through in those different locations but we'll see how the zergs decide to handle this overall a pretty normal map a lot of ups and downs here in the middle you can see that the very center here is actually low ground and there's like a ring of high ground going all the way around so that'll be interesting um for all these like mid game and uh, later game pushes for example a terran player moving along here might be very strong holding this high ground using this uh kind of obstruction here this cliff edge and this cliff edge to kind of slowly push their way over across and towards this natural uh, sorry natural up here but it's going to be interesting i'm not sure how this is going to go i feel like if a terran gets a position right here in front of the natural uh it's going to be tough for a protoss player to break out of here if you set up a bunch of tanks right here you can kind of control the the rally point the natural area without too much trouble and you can you can make it really really hard for the protoss pr player to break out let me see if this is buildable as well a lot of buildable terrain on this map some not buildable but most of this is so yeah holding this position right here is going to be very very strong on this map i think um we'll see how these games go though guys we've got more maps coming up there's so many new maps it's crazy there are a ton of new maps we're just getting started here we've got illusion coming up next taking a look at illusion here we've got small ramp with the eggs coming down into the natural high ground main base very large main quite a bit of area to build in here although not as big as one of our earlier maps few high ground funny little high grounds around the middle of the map and an opening to the natural is actually quite large here i'm not sure exactly how many buildings i think if you just put the pile on there though with a forge and a gateway i believe this is impassable terrain so it shouldn't be too bad it shouldn't be too bad i should have played protoss again this is why i usually check with protoss i usually um play protoss when i do these map checks just a little bit easier to build everything and just check everything out so let's take a look we've got the third base here a very wide open third base kind of reminds me of um python is it or lost temple where you've got this kind of random uh, mineral base uh, just outside the cliff of your main pretty small entrance here like i said these weird box shaped uh high grounds littered around the map and a kydrin ky kydarin 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 crystal formation here at the center of the map that's kind of cool i like to see that we've seen quite a few recently it's getting more trendy to throw down like a norad 2 in the middle of the map or something funny to just make the map special and here we're gonna have the kydarin crystal formation i wonder if we'll see any big battles uh or you know interesting games be decided around this crystal it is quite large and it can't be killed so uh you can't just like kill it to make way for your army you actually have to go around it which is kind of fun here's our gas third base you might want to take this base but in certain matchups taking this as a third is going to be more useful here it's possible we might see players go hydra defiler on this map because setting up lurkers right here it's going to be very hard to push through this area with marines uh so taking this base as a third could be possible against terran but I imagine it'll be more likely we'll see them take naturals or main bases and just play it out kind of more naturally kind of more normally this is a map with 16 bases so really not a lot of bases here so there's not too much more to talk about not a lot of high grounds around other than these four 
weird squares, it's pretty much all low ground, which is kind of interesting. Only the main bases and these squares are high ground. We could end up seeing some big clashes here, and it'll be very, very difficult to split this map in half. Really, really t tough. Even in TVT to split this one in half, I think. There's just so much space here in the middle. Counterattacks are going to be almost impossible to avoid. Also, it's unlikely that this will be a carrier map. Very, very few areas where carriers can abuse. Um, pretty much everywhere is open. There's very small amount of area where the carriers can kind of sit over top and just not be hit by Goliaths. Next up, we've got Kickback, and this is a crazy wild map. Neutral sunken colony here at the natural, and as you can see, the opening to the main base is massive. Also, if you are a Zerg player, creep will spread from this neutral sunken colony, but it will not spread if you're a Protoss or a Terran. How crazy is that? So you can actually build all throughout this area, but not here on the yellow parts. It's gonna be incredibly strange. I have no idea how this map is gonna play out, but I imagine we'll see some pretty funky fast expand builds with Sunkins being thrown down here at the front. I don't know if it's even possible to kind of wall in here. What can we do as the Protoss? Let me see. Just try something out here. All right, that's not half bad, actually. Looks like the probe can't get through there. I'm not sure about Lings. Try a Zealot. I think that the probe can't make it through, the, the um, Zealot can't either. But, you know, if we set up a wall like this, then I don't think we're gonna be able to get through with Zerglings. And this is the craziest part of the map. But taking two gas bases is pretty wild. Each of these only has 300 gas, though. As compared to the regular 5,000. So you are going to run out of gas a little bit faster here. But you will be seeing a lot of pro players. And players on the ladder... It, assuming this comes to ladder, I'm not really sure. But this is going to be a crazy, crazy map with a lot of very fast expansion plays. Uh, other expands around the map are a bit interesting. We've got this one. Over here, very small entranceway, but a lot of neutral ground here. Impassable terrain on both sides. So this is a map that I'm actually favoring carriers quite a bit. Even though the middle of the map is not too cl crammed up, it's very, very wide open. This area right here, you can just fly the carriers here right over this area. Kill this base from the high ground. Not a whole lot that the... A uh, Terran player can do. As for Terran versus Zerg on this map, it's going to be really, really wild. Hard to predict. I think that it'll be very easy to set up uh, Sunkins here at the front and then go immediately into three gas. We're probably going to see a lot of uh, both Crazy Zerg and Hydralis Defiler play, but I'm not entirely sure on that. It does seem really, really hard to take other bases around the map. These two are pretty good, but again, 3,000 gas. Those are not going to last very long. So you really do need to ramp up quickly here, Zerg, and then try to stretch out and take over more bases. Like, if you can take another uh, main base here and set up sunken colonies at this location, you get another two more gases. So three gases from this area alone, which is really insane. That's a lot of gas to work with. But overall, to me, this map really seems to be favoring three base play, no matter what race you're playing and in what matchup. The middle is super, super wide open. There's tons of space for counterattacks. It's going to be almost impossible again to split the map in half, although maybe a little bit easier, maybe a little bit simpler than... That last map, setting up tanks, tank lines here and here. Maybe you can do it in TVT, but in most other matchups, it's not going to be a possibility. The front of the natural here is huge, wide open. It shouldn't be too hard for Terran to break out of this. Once they've turtled up and taken three bases and mined up, you know, gotten up to 160, 180 supply, and they're pushing out against the Protoss, it's not going to be crazy difficult to push out here because there's not 
uh, like a super tight choke where reverse scarabs are going to be insane or storms are going to be super, super hard to deal with. Uh, same thing goes for lurkers. You can probably set up a pretty decent containment here uh, with lurkers, but there's a lot of space to try and start poking out and moving out. You can also set up things on the high ground to help yourself you know, clear out some of the lurkers at the peripheries to open up space to actually get out of your main base. Middle of the map also has two gases here. Again, 3,000 minerals or 3,000 gas and just 1,200 minerals here at the center base. Unlikely we'll see this taken too often though. It is so far out in the middle and there's almost nothing guarding it at all. Just these tiny little walls. So it would be very unlikely that we'll end up seeing this map or this middle of the map get taken. But who knows, maybe in TVP, um, it might be easier to take this, this base against a carrier player, for example. If the enemy is going carriers, they're flying around, just kind of picking off bases everywhere. Uh, they're not going to want to venture through the middle of the map. That's going to be the most dangerous place to utilize the carriers. So maybe in that sort of situation where the Terran has map control in the middle of the map, uh, we might see Terrans take this center base occasionally. We'll, we'll see, though, what the pro Terran players decide to do with this. So kickback was very interesting, but here we are on Pantheon, and as you can see, pretty cool looking map. Even from the the map down here in the bottom left, the, the mini map looks great. It's very wide open again, a lot of space here in the middle, but there are some choked up areas around. This is a very interesting box shaped high ground here. And these are very small ramps leading up to that high ground, which will lead to some interesting choke points. Uh, a lot of these areas are very wide open, but again, a lot of these interesting little high ground chokes show you guys uh, what this could look like or what this may look like. Oh yeah, this ramp here, this is exactly like Citadel. They've got the very uh, high edge um, of a high ground here, but this is not uh, like a genuine high ground. It's like a very, very small amount of high ground at the top of the ramp, and then on the, both sides is low ground. So, um, one of the map makers picking up off those ideas uh, from the, the, the creator who made Citadel. There's your wall in there. Pretty normal, pretty natural here of a wall in. This one does seem a lot tighter with those two things on the side, but I guess it's not that much tighter. I was thinking about putting the forge below this, but that also leaves a gap. Or if you move the gateway over, you're gonna get an even bigger gap here. I don't think that this is a gap, but there is a gap here between the forge and gateway. So you're gonna end up with two gaps. It's pretty much uh, normal at this point uh, for most maps. Very, very large main base with high ground around the outside though. So uh, you're not gonna be able to see up this high ground, but you could, for example, float a CC out to here, and this is probably going to be your third base as a Terran player. So let's take a look at this map right here, or this corner of the map right here. Let's say you're Terran over in this corner. You push out into your natural, you take over your natural, and then when you're pushing for your third, unlikely that you're going to take this one. It might be possible. Setting up tanks along this area right here would be very strong. Protoss or Zerg coming up this area, these directions... It's going to be pretty hard um, with tanks sitting at this edge. Let me see if there's any buildable terrain right here. Buildable terrain in between these two bases is very minimal. Only this one spot for a turret. So that's likely where we'll see the turret get thrown down. In most of the games where Terran survives that long. Nothing buildable up here. Nothing buildable down here. And small edges of unbuildable terrain right here in the middle. Might be a little bit tough to uh, hold this base as Terran versus Protoss, but I don't know if this base is much better. Let's see about buildable terrain this direction. If you push out this way, there is quite a bit more buildable terrain. There are some spots that are not buildable, like right around here. But that's not a huge gap if you're going to be building a bunch of turrets around. If you're building turrets everywhere. Putting down mines right here, tanks here and here. You should be able to take this without too much problem. But there is this counterattack path, of course, coming into the natural. 
And you've got three more paths. There's this one and this one. Or sorry, two more paths. Three total. This path, this path, and this path to defend as the Terran player. Now, looking at this from a Zerg perspective, you're probably going to end up taking a third base either here with a Hydralist Defiler play, three base Hydra Defiler, or you're going to go for another main in order to get into a more normal play, main or natural, in order to, you know, hold off with lurkers and eventually get up into your carapace and, of course, up into your later game tech, your Ultralist, your Defiler. There's not too much more to say about this map. This is going to be a fun one, I think. This is going to be... Uh, similar to Citadel, maybe a little bit more balanced. I'm not sure exactly. Um, these are going to give us some very interesting moments, I think, in the game. Uh, who's going to be able to take these and how are they going to be held? Setting up along this edge here and these edges here, it looks strong for Terran. I'm not sure how it's going to play out, though. For example, against someone like Snow, how is he going to be able to abuse these spots? It's really impossible to tell, but... I think this is one of the maps that I favor uh, the most. It looks the most normal and the most playable here. Some of the maps are looking really actually unplayable. Some of them are looking very, very hard. And, you know, there's going to have to be some real creativity coming out of our pro players if they're going to put on some good games on these maps. Um, nothing as crazy as Troy or Sparkle or anything like that. No island maps so far. We've got a couple more maps to get into, guys, so let's check them out. All right, guys, welcome to Random Forest. This is a three-player map. Getting kind of interesting already. As you can see, the disruption web. This hasn't been a thing for a very long time. Back since Storm Egg. Storm Egg was really the last time we saw a map like this. Of course, that's not the name of the map, but that is the meme that became popular uh, because of that map, I actually can't remember the name of the map. If you remember, put a name down in the comments. Remind me what that map was again. But look at all of the disruption web here. If you don't know, disruption web disables your ability to attack any unit that's under this. So it doesn't affect air units. It only affects ground units. But if anything is sitting underneath the disruption web, or even at the corner, even a part of them is under the disruption web. It doesn't even have to be the whole unit, but if it's just touching the unit, it cannot attack. It will not attack. They just, they just stop. Everything just stops. Let's take a look at the natural. See what we're working with here. Looks pretty normal. The natural looks good. It looks very defendable. We've got a bit of a weird little back entrance here. I haven't seen a path like this for quite a while. As you can see, right from the back of the natural, a long pathway here that actually goes back to a wall of eggs. And through that wall of eggs, another pathway up to a double gas base in the top corner. We've got a multiple double gas bases around the map here. This one down here. And we've got another one over here at the center-ish left. A crazy map guys this is a wild one we're gonna have some really interesting games here but basically this is set up so that the player whose base it is for example a uh, brown player here if they're expanding out this direction they can kill the eggs but their opponents can't really kill the eggs unless they drop something over here and kill the eggs you're not gonna be able to send like uh, lurkers around this direction um, burrow here and try to kill the eggs. It's just not going to happen. Of course, we've also got disruption web here and eggs here. So this base is highly protected. Especially hard to break this base if you've got something waiting here. Like some cannons or something. Kind of hanging out over at these two locations. It's so hard. Even if you kill the eggs to get through and deal any damage to this base. Very, very interesting setup we've got here. Really, really strange. I have no idea how this is going to play out. It's a wild, wild map. The natural, of course, pretty normal. We do have neutral ground main base and natural. A lot of unbuildable terrain out in front of that natural. So likely we'll see... Oh, and this is actually comes from the main base too. I didn't even realize that right off the bat. So coming from the main... Inside the main, you can go around here through this little pathway. 
and into a double gas base. Wow, that is so interesting. The map where we had disruption webs, I remember it was more of an island map. Like, you couldn't actually get to your opponent without... Uh, actually, w without having some sort of air or killing a lot of eggs, if I remember that correctly. But here, you can just send out a probe, get a base, or send an SCV and take another base uh, with double gas. And it's very hard for your opponent to attack into it. Very tough indeed. I'm really curious how this is going to play out. Middle of the map, very far away. Um... This next base from your natural. If you wanted to push out here, you're going to have to do it without the assistance of turrets as a Terran player. It's a very easy to attack base, I would say. A little bit of a small choke here. This is not too big either, and there's three of them around the map. I'm getting some vibes from an older map. Like, um, I can't even remember what the name of that was, but do you guys remember the map where... Uh, I think it was like volcanic tile set and there were two gases and then minerals um, coming out from the back of your main base. So like you could go out to the back and um, take a base and you could just mine the minerals and then there was two gases in the middle uh, between the sets of minerals and it went all the way around the map. Like there was one here, one here and one here. I just, I cannot remember the name of that map, but I'm really getting those similar vibes just with the uh, kind of rotation going around the outside of the map. It's not perfect, but you can kind of go around the whole map on the outside. I think it was called Outsider. Now, if I'm remembering that correctly, I might be wrong, guys. Leave your comment down below. I think it was called Outsider. This is really reminding me of that map. It's going to be a wild ride to see pros play on this. If this comes on ladder, I don't know. This might be one of my vetoes. I'm not sure. This is going to be crazy. Only 2,500 gas here, by the way, guys. 2,500 gas, double gas base, but half as much gas as a normal base. So keep that in mind. The other main base here. Again, three-player map. Let's see, does this have, this is also 2,500, interesting. So we've got a bunch of 2,500 gas bases around, but a lot of double gas. So it's like the gas builds up really, really fast with these bases, but it runs out really, really quick as well. So you just get kind of a burst uh, where you're suddenly, if you're on two bases and then you get that base up, suddenly you're on four gas, right? But it doesn't last for very long. Um. So you really do have to like get momentum if you're, for example, a Zerg player and you're playing against Terra and you get one of those bases up. You have to use the momentum that you get from that to overcome the Terran and get another base online very quickly. Otherwise, you're just going to run out. You're going to run out of gas. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. Crazy, crazy map. We've got even more here coming right up. All right, guys, here we are with Dominator, our final map of the new map pool. This is a map I feel like I've played on it before. It looks really, really similar. I know I said that all the maps were new, but now I'm kind of second guessing myself, actually. I feel like I've played on this map before. I just can't remember what the name is. Um, I'm kind of messing around with some different placements here. I'm really not sure uh, what you're supposed to do with your cannon. Um, and gateway set up on this map. I'm just kind of messing around with it right now, but um, I don't know. I tried this out. That seems, I mean, it seems good. <laughs> I know you have to kill your gateway if you want to get out of here later, but onto the map, we've got a big low ground main base here, small ramp going up onto the high ground. And then we've got these little peninsulas. This is what makes me Nostalgic. It really reminds me of an older map. I don't remember what the name of that was. I tried to search Dominator on Liquipedia, but I wasn't able to find the map. It looks very strikingly similar to something that we've seen before. As you can see, the naturals here. You come out onto a very high ground here at the front. And then once you take control of that, you can very quickly see where a third base could be landed for a Terran. 
grab that mineral only base and then maybe you can push over here try to snag this base with two ramps here though it's going to be a little bit tough always when there's a terran uh when there's a base where uh the first ramp is out of range of the second ramp it's always a little bit difficult because protoss can put a bunch of uh dragoons here you put a reaver here and just kind of back up slowly back up and then whenever you start to extend out uh, onto this high ground that's when they fly in with the shuttles and try to break that so could be a little bit difficult here for Terran not 100% sure just yet but this is a three player map guys so we've got kind of an interesting rotational symmetry here with another main base I guess it's down here wait where's the other main base I think it's this one right here okay here's the other main base here's that natural and of course we've got these uh these high grounds around um kind of funny here we've got that high ground base then we've got a low ground base over here let's check the gas geyser count so 5,000 on each of these so more of a normal gas count on a lot of these bases a lot of rotational sy symmetry here but kind of an awkward shape in the middle of the map some interesting doodads here as well some little um wallet kind of weird walls going around the outside of that but as you can see more and more of these slices these like pizza slice high grounds here uh going all the way around this map and i think this map may favor a little bit more towards split map situations of course it is a three uh, main base map so it, it'll be harder to make that work but with all the high grounds that are going around here it's going to be very interesting how Terran versus Terran plays out how Zerg versus Protoss plays out holding the high grounds is going to be really important um preventing your opponent from taking those over it's gonna really be a big part I think of this map I don't know how this is going to play out in PVZ I feel like uh, taking these bases is going to be pretty strong anytime there's just like small ramps coming up into a high ground it's pretty difficult to break as either zerg or protoss um my main concern is with tvp it's very hard to get up into some of these bases but i think you could probably take four bases without too much trouble as soon as you get out of your natural you can hold this high ground here and that's going to cover this base and then you can just sort of extend over to take this fourth and you're you're kind of surrounding your your main except for this area over here you are kind of surrounded and that's going to help you to block out any uh, attacks from shuttles drop play arbiter play all that stuff this is again one of the more normal maps that we've got uh, i'm glad that there's a lot of normal max maps mixed in there's a lot of craziness though guys a lot of crazy maps i'm really interested to see how they're gonna play these ones um especially like let me just look at the names here random forest super crazy backstreet is wild kickback pretty wild too um deja vu is pretty normal uh let's see catalyst yeah catalyst also insane there's just so many crazy wild maps this season it is going to be next level no normal maps at all no polypoid no vermeer uh none of these amd maps are going to be replayed this season it's going to be a complete switch up what do you think that the uh, africa tv or now it's going to be called soup if you guys didn't hear they have rebranded from africa tv to soup so it's going to be changed to the ssl which is kind of interesting i don't know why they decided to change the name at this point in the game but they decided to change it to soup so the new brand new ssl is going to be played on these maps so they're hoping to have this be very very popular like they want to uh you know bring back all the fans they you know want this season to go off without a hitch anytime there's a rebrand it's uh, a questionable period for a big company like africa tv so i'm curious they're thinking why they actually wanted to bring in so many wacky maps just to possibly create excitement maybe to 
you know, switch things up, make it harder for someone like Soul Key to win another season, possibly. I'm not sure what they're thinking, but here we are with this kind of wild map pool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.